both ends of the field to make sure everybody is ready. Right now, we've got a little problem in moving uh, some of the people back on the far side. And as soon as they have accomplished that feat, Sloppy will get that right foot into it. And here he comes. He spins one high. It is going to drift to the goal line where both McFadden and Jones are there. Jones gets it to the five, and he is creamed at the ten. And it is, and Michigan has it. And it is number six coming off the field with the football for Michigan. That, I believe, is Al Bishop. There are two number sixes on that Michigan roster. So Marines and Jones coughed up the football. Art Belortis over the ball at center. Al Bishop was the Wolverine who recovered it. Jimmy Harbaugh at the quarterback spot. He has Perriman and Jamie Morris lined up in the I formation. They give it to Perriman, and Buzzards Bay puts his head down and drives forward for maybe a couple. Sim Nelson and Eric Caddis both on that line of scrimmage as tight ends out of the I formation. It's second and eight to go for the Wolverine. Presented with a tremendous break here on the first play of the ball game. They pitch it back to Jamie Morris, and he is feared for a loss back at the 10 yard line. And 10. And here is Harbaugh drifting back to throw, looking into the end zone. Now he's going to run with the football, swinging off to the right. Now he waits, throws it, then complete. Intended for Jamie Morris. Down at the three, but thrown away a little bit from the little guy, and he could not come up with it. And now let's see what Bo Schembechler does on fourth down. Record last week with a 52-yarder. The ball is put down. Bergeron guns it up. It's through. We have a timeout on the field with 13-31 to go. In the first quarter to score, Michigan three, Wisconsin nothing. As Howard barks out the signals. On first down, gives it on the draw to Harrison up the middle, and he is hit after a couple of yard gain. Michigan's defense will line up in this fashion. Mark Hammerstein, Al Sinchich, of course, not in there at middle guard. Joe Gray takes his spot, and Kevin Brooks is the tackle. At this time, it is given off to the tailback. Emery he finds a little hole off the right side, and he's into the secondary, still spinning free, stays on his feet, finally hit from behind up at the 42-yard line of Wisconsin. And the Badgers will send both Jones and McFadden to the left side, put two off to the right. One back offense this time for Wisconsin on first and 15. And Howard heads back to throw. Stays in the pocket, throws it up the field. It is incomplete. That was intended for the tight end, Brett Pearson, at the 40-yard line. He was pointing to Rodney Lyles. I guess he felt he was a little bit interfered with there and in getting to the football. They're back in the eye on second and 15 as Emery and Harrison are lined up behind Howard. Fake to Emery. Rolling left is Howard. Throws it upfield. It is caught by Pearson. Gets away from a couple of tacklers and finally is hauled down by an ankle grab down on the 38-yard line to Michigan. That was Doug Mallory in what could have been a touchdown-saving tackle. And he's got it. Heads straight back to pass. Looks to the left side. It's, it, it is complete at the 20-yard line as Al Thune went high into the air. He bobbled it for a moment and then came down with it as Mike Mallory made the hit. On Kevin Belcher, we could catch it on our replays. There's giant 6'7", 290-pound left tackle. This time on the draw, they give it off to the tailback, and Emery bangs his way down inside the 35-yard line where Mike Mallory put him to the turf. Going without a tight end in this one as the ball is going to be given off instead to Emery. He cranks his way up the middle to the 30, down to the 25, and that's a first down for the Badgers. Head and right, Jones left. High formation behind Howard. They have Howard going back to pass. Fires it over to the right side, and it is broken up. Intended for Toon, but Brad Cochran got there first to knock it away from him. Wisconsin will employ Pearson as a tight end lined off to the right side. The setbacks are split behind Howard. He hands it off to Harrison over the left side, finds a little bit of a hole. It closes in a hurry at the 21-yard line as he is smacked down there by a couple of Wolverines. Here this time as Lyles comes left side, as back to throw goes Howard. He guns it down the middle. It's caught by Pearson, then he fumbles the ball, and Scarcelli has it for Michigan at the 9. They had the ball for a first down as Howard hit his big tight end Pearson again. He was hit. By Garland, Rivers coughed up the football, and Scarcelli dropped that at the nine-yard line for Michigan. And then Morris remain the eyebacks. Now behind Jim Harbaugh as Art Bellardis goes over the ball at center. On first and ten from the nine, Harbaugh gives it off to little Jamie Morris. He staggers his way up the middle, squirms away from a couple of would-be tacklers, and finally goes down at the 14-yard line behind Jimmy Harbaugh. The ball again given to Morris. Oh, as he cracked at the 16-yard line and falls forward up to about the 17. Perriman and Morris still behind Harbaugh. Michigan lines up strong left side. Let's see if that's where they come. 
Nope. Fake by Harbaugh. Back to throw. Lost the long one up here. Open his feet. He can't come up with it down at the Wisconsin 45-yard line. Vince had a step on the free safety, Russ Belford, but that ball just off his fingertips. So Thad McFadden retreats for the Badgers as Monty Robbins gets his punt away. He lifts it high. McFadden will let it drop at the 40, and it takes a Michigan bounce to the 25 to the 20. Michigan will let it roll as it finally is dead at the 17-yard line. McFadden might have either lost that ball or decided that he didn't want to attempt fielding it. In either case, Michigan gets a great punt out of Monty Robbins. The snap gives it off to his tailback, Emery. He comes straight ahead over the 20-yard line. Springfield, Illinois, as he gives it off to his tailback, Emery, again. He bounces away at the line of scrimmage to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, and he is finally brought down up at the 43-yard line by Brad Cochran and Doug Mallory. Hitting first quarter, here's the reverse. Slipped off to McFadden around the left side of the 40, to the 45, to the 50, hit from behind, and knocked down at about the 49 of the Wolverines, Rivers, and Anderson. He's right back in there now. That was a gain of nine. Second down and one now for the Badgers. Michael Jones goes to the right side. Howard play action pass. Drifting left. Throws it up on that side. It is caught for a first down down at the 34-yard line. Right, one left, but they give it to the deep back Harrison, and he is knocked down after a pickup of maybe one to the 34-33 yard line by Vince DeFelice. Tune splits left. Setbacks are split behind Howard. He's drifting back to throw. The rush is on. He fires a little screen off to the left side to Harrison at the 35, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. He is knocked down in the neighborhood of the 17-yard line. It'll be another first down for the Badgers. Tony Gann had to come up and make the stop from the wide safety position. McFadden right, two and left. Eye formation behind Howard. He'll throw on first down. Stays in the pocket. Fires it straight up the field. It is caught. And right at the goal line, the receiver is hauled down, and it'll be first and goal to go for the Badgers, and that is Al Toon. In uniform, he should have it. First and goal for the Badgers at the Michigan goal line. I formation. They give it off to the tailback, Armantrot. He has hit, fumbles the football, and the Wolverines say they have it. And they do. No question about it. The ball comes loose again, and there's a blue shirt all over it. And I, Rodney Lyles, I believe, number 80, off the pile of that football. Unbelievable. Wisconsin has turned it over for the third time in this ball game to the Wolverines, this time at the one. And Joe Armantrout, who carried that ball, is down and being attended to. So we have a timeout on the field. 3.44 remaining. First quarter to score. Michigan three, Wisconsin nothing. has fumbled the football away three times on the opening kickoff at their 10 and twice inside the Michigan 10. Here is Harbaugh giving it off to Perriman and the big guy bombs his way up the middle close to the eight yard line. Matter of fact, this one inside their five. Harbaugh again gives it off to Jamie Morris. He goes to the 10 and that's about it. That'll give us a chance to quickly pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Michigan Football Network. Clock ticking away, two and a half remaining here in the first quarter. Michigan splits Jokic right side. Bean comes left. Eye formation behind Harbaugh. He gives it off on the delay to Morris. Getting outside to the 15. Goes to the 20 and puts his head down and drives into Nathaniel Odoms up at the 21-yard line. And Michigan has their first first down of the afternoon. Tim Harbaugh. Waiting for the snap here on first down out of the eye. Again, he'll go to Morris and around the right side. Oh, he is hit right about the line of scrimmage in a necktie tackle by Jim Melka, their great inside linebacker. And Buzzards Bay and Air Massachusetts are both represented here today, Perriman and Jamie Morris. And there is quite a contrast between the two, I would say, size-wise, uh, maybe 35 pounds. Second down, no gain on that last one. Harbaugh will throw, he is being chased, he gets rid of it, and it is caught by Nelson at the 32-yard line, and he is knocked out of bounds. Up at the 35, that'll be another first down. Time ticking away here. We're just about out of it in this first quarter as Harbaugh on a play action fake. Back to pass. He's being chased back there. He's retreating way back to the 15. A flag is thrown. He comes to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, and he is hauled down from behind. But I think we probably are going to get a holding call coming up. Walker came back to drag down. Yeah, but it was, I don't know if it was. We'll have to look at it real close. Very difficult, and the official did not have a great angle on it, even though he was only seven or eight yards away from it. And the unfortunate thing about this is the fact that it is marked off from the spot, not from the line of scrimmage, which means it is going to be back to the 12. 
about the 12 yard line. Actually, it's a 15 yard walk off, but it's from the spot of the foul. Here's Harbaugh back on first and long, throwing it up the middle to Morris at the 20, and he's hit right around the Adam's apple and dragged down up at the 21 22 yard line by Michael Reed. Back to Morris. He's going to try to wide sweep left side, and he gets around the corner, and he is knocked down up at about the 29 yard line where he goes out of bounds on the final play of the first quarter. Our score is Michigan leading Wisconsin 3 to nothing, and we will be back with a second quarter right after we pause 60 seconds for this special message this is the michigan football the quarter michigan leads three to nothing first michigan drive of the afternoon as wisconsin bunching up on that line of scrimmage off the i formation they'll send nelson in motion right side harball in a rollout right he's got some room off the right side and he is hit and dropped down at the 44 yard line of wisconsin michael reed came across from the inside linebacker position to make the stop on harbaugh Harbaugh had that jersey pretty well stretched out that time. Ball resting at the 44 of the Badgers. Caddis is going to reset off the left side. That'll make that the strong side for the Wolverines. They're lined up at the near side. Hash marks at the 44 of the Badgers. The ball goes to Morris around the right side, and he is snowed under after a gain of no more than a yard. Second down and nine. That was a yard pickup for Jamie. Here's Harbaugh looking for somebody to throw it to. Can't find anybody, so he is going to run with a football as he staggers down to the 40. So, a big third down play here for the Wolverines. As Harbaugh play action fake to Morris, back to throw, fires it for Nelson, and he has it and then dropped it, but a flag is down. And let's wait and see. There could have been interference committed on Vince B. Spike's going to be against the Wolverines. Quinn's going to tell us all about it right now pass interference apparently on Vince Bean and that not only of course cost him the yardage but also the down as McFadden and Russ Belford both dropping back although Belford now is going to move up as the short man Monty Robbins who had a 65 yarder the last time will be kicking into this win now on fourth and long line of scrimmage is the 45 of the Wolverines Robbins is standing at his own 30 moves up on it and he delivers one straight down the field to McFadden. He'll catch it at the 16-yard line, trying to get outside. The 20 gets away from one man to the 25 to the 30 to the 35. Hit and dropped and fumbles the football, and Michigan has it at the 47 of Wisconsin. The fourth time the Badgers have turned it over this afternoon. Wow. We've seen more turnovers in two football games than almost a half of the third one that we might expect to see in a year. And it's only, the only question is, week to week, which team is going to commit those turnovers? Brad Cochran hit him, Tom, and Monty Robbins, who punted the football, recovered it. Well, I'll tell you something else. Dave McClain hopes that's more turnovers than he sees, I'll bet, the rest of his lifetime. Means I've used up all my fingers and toes. <laughs> First and ten to go for the Wolverines. Harbaugh pitches to Morris, trying the short side around the left side of the 45, and he squirts down to the 40 before he's finally knocked down there. Harbaugh with two tight ends on that line of scrimmage. Again, gives it to Morris. He's got a first down as he squirms off to the left side, and he is down to the 35-yard line. Jokic goes to the left side. Bean comes right out of the I formation. Garrett lined up in front of Morris, and Harbaugh will throw on first down. Fires it off here to the right. It's caught by Nelson all alone at the 27 to the 25. He is out of bounds down at the 20-yard line of Wisconsin. Eric uh, Garrett and Ben Logue are in there now as the I box behind Harbaugh, and it's given off to Logue, finding a room off the right side, and he pushes his way down to the 16-yard line. Johnson goes left side. Giovanni, he's the only Johnson suiting up today for Michigan. Steve didn't hear us earlier, is out of action. Harbaugh with two tight ends again on that line of scrimmage. Hands it off to Jamie Mark. Finds a hole off the left side trying to get outside. He does. He turns the corner of the 10 down to the 5 and he is finally hit and dropped at the 4-yard line of Wisconsin. Jamie getting the starting role here this afternoon because of injuries to Gerald White and Rick Rogers. Michigan now has moved from the Wisconsin 47 after that turnover down to the four where it's first and goal. Harbaugh gives it off to Perriman, runs a slant to the right side, and he has maybe one. 
Well, that's about it. They set it inside the four, closer to the three, so make it second down and goal. Placing Mark Hammerston as they punch up on that line of scrimmage on second and goal. And Harbaugh rolling to the right side, looking into the end zone. Stops. He's going to be hit for a loss way back at the nine-yard line. All down there by Rick Graff and Michael Boykin. Stock in there at the tailback spot. Harbaugh fakes to low. Back to pass he goes. Lofts went off to the right side and Nelson catches it at the five. Dives forward. He's in there. Touchdown, Michigan. He just got into the corner. In the corner, Tom, he made contact with the pylon. That makes it a touchdown. However, I'm going to go out on a limb and tell you that he stepped out of bounds on the one and a half yard line and they didn't catch him. It sure looks that way on the replay monitor, but it'll go down in the books as a eight yard touchdown toss from Harbaugh to Nelson. Well, I'll tell you, we won't give it back, but when Dave McLean sees that on film, he will have something to say. Bergeron puts it up and through on the point after try, and we've got a timeout on the field. 831 remaining in the second quarter. The score, Michigan 10, Wisconsin nothing. He looks at it. McFadden and Jones are back at the goal line for the Badgers. And here comes the naked foot into it. He laces one to the left side. It's caught by McFadden at the 3 to the 5 to the 10 to the 15. And he is buried at around the 19-yard line. He'll dish it off to Emery on a sweep around the right side. Caught from behind and dragged down up at about the 22-yard line. Howard again gives it off to his tailback, Emery. And he is tackled up at about the 24-yard line. But Bowden never even visited the home, though, at Morris. He just kind of did it on his own. Here's a third down play. Play action fake by Howard. Back to throw. He fires it over to the right side, and it is caught and knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. High formation. Tune is split left side as here comes McFadden in motion to that side, but they'll give it to Henry. Hole opens up the middle to the 35 to the 40. Still on his feet up at the 45, 46-yard line, and Garland Rivers brings him down there. Mike's. The defensive tackle and Mark is the offensive tackle. First and ten to go for the Badgers, working from their 46-yard line. Howard will throw on first down as he drifts back, fires a sideliner intended for Toon, but well over his head as he went high into the air, and Tony Gant was right there with him as the Badgers go to work. Howard gets the snap. Play action fake, rolling right side, fires one, and it is incomplete intended for Pearson as off his fingertip, and then he was rammed by Brad Cochran and Pearson is bent over on the gridiron. Now he gets up, but boy, he felt that shot from Cochran. Left, eye formation. Howard, back to throw, retreating off to the right side. He's being chased. He's going to be dropped for a loss way back at the 35-yard line by Jim Scarcelli. And from Sapicki. Oh, a flag is thrown as the punt is a beauty. Chases again all the way back to the 19, comes to the 25, spins around at the 30, and is snowed under. Up at the 33-yard line. Let's see what the flags are about, though. Line there did jump. I think he beat the ball. He did line up in the official judgment. Now it's up to the Badgers whether they want to accept the penalty or take the ball where it would be. It was a beautiful punt by Sapicki. As Gant this time standing inside the 20. High snap, but Sapicki just gets it away, and this one is going to drift again at the 21. And he looks like he's bottled up there. Now he gets enough traffic, trying to get outside to the right side. Good block, goes to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, and hit from behind and spun down at the 39-yard line. Boy, that was very close to being broken by Gant before Charlie Foley got a hand on him at that point. Let's pause right now, 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Michigan Football Network. I don't have any doubt that it's his left knee or at least his left leg, Tom, that it's a problem area. Uh, he was only tackled by the tops of his shoes, but he was sent flying by that tackle and landed uh, somewhat sideways on his left knee, which was tucked underneath his body. And uh, no matter what they do to these surfaces, they're still pretty firm. Which would certainly back up Tom's premise here. In the second quarter, Michigan leads it 10 to nothing. As Harbaugh waits for the snap from Belotis. Sends Nelson in motion off to the right side. Gives it up the middle to Eddie Garrett. He stumbles forward up over the 42-yard line. Ben Logo will check back in for him there. 
Eddie Garrett remains the fullback. As Harbaugh, play action fake to Logue, back to pass he goes, being chased out of the pocket now. He throws it away. Oh, he threw that one right into the Michigan bench, and they got a flag. I think they'll get him for intentionally grounding there. And Harbaugh, back to pass again, runs out of the pocket, and he's going to get back to the 29, and that's just about it, as he was hit by Rick Graff on Harbaugh. In other words. Here's a big rush by the Badgers, but Robbins just gets the punt away, hangs up high from Fadden, who catches it on a fair catch at the 29-yard line. As they have been the beneficiaries so far this afternoon of four turnovers on the part of Wisconsin. A two-yard line, Hammerstein and Brooks were both in there. I think Hammerstein got a hand around his ankles to knock him down. To Bonner, and he gets back to the 25-yard line, and that's about it. Team for the Badgers. As Howard drifts back to throw, stays in the pocket, fires it up to McFadden. He makes the catch. He is hit immediately at the 38-yard line. Out here in the second quarter, Michigan up 10 to nothing. Good snap, big rush, I think he gets it away. As it is going to go to Johnson at the 17 to the 20, and he has hit and dropped up at the 25-yard line. The ball will be resting at their 25-yard line. Johnson right, Bean left. Here's Harbaugh back to throw. Fires it over here. It is caught by Nelson on a great grab at the 40-yard line, down at the 42. It'll be a first down for the Wolverine. Richard Johnson on the stop for Wisconsin. It's the snap. Fakes to Morris. Back to throw. Throws it to Morris up the middle at the 50. Goes to the 45 and the 40, and he is crunched down at the Wisconsin 39-yard line. Score, Michigan 10, Wisconsin nothing. Ben Logue's the tailback. Eddie Garrett the fullback, and Harbaugh back to throw. Gets a lot of time up the middle this time to Logue at the 30-yard line, and he is hauled down right there. That'll be very close to the first down marker. Michigan might get a break. They might have to measure for this. Let's see. Nope. They say it's just shy, so it's just second and inches. So the snap. Back to throw he goes. Fires it. It's batted down at the line of scrimmage. Looks like Lance Brenneman, the nose guard, got a hand up to bat that one away, but it stops the clock with 27 seconds to go. Well, the only problem they really have right now, Tom, is the, is the down and distance. The, the clock they have plenty of time with. Well, we'll see what Bo Schembechler has come up with here now as the Wolverines line up. And Harbaugh. Ready for the snap. He's got it. Gives it off on the draw to Morris. Up the middle, and he is hit and dropped. But it looks like he should have enough for a first down as he's inside the 29-yard line. The change, and Michigan will be able to line up and ready to go without a whole lot of time ticking off that clock that shows 23 seconds to go. Put down. The clock starts. Harbaugh gets the snap. Back to pass. He scrambles out of the pocket now, and he's going to be hit and dropped for a loss. Back at the 34-yard line as the Badgers had three men on him. Now it's 10 seconds to go, second down and long, back at the 35-yard line of Wisconsin, and Harbaugh is back to throw. He fires the long one upfield, and it is incomplete, intended for Eric Caddis at the 13-yard line. I think a Badger got his hand on it down there to break it up. You and I both see it. Yep, and this is going to be a 52-yarder from the far side hash mark. Monty Robbins, the punter, holds. As the ball is put down, Slopey line drives it up, and it is no good. So on the final play of the second quarter, Slopey misses on a 52-yard attempt, which would have tied a Michigan record. So after one half of play, Michigan holding on to a tenuous 10-0 lead here at Michigan Stadium, and we'll be back in a moment right after we pause. One minute for this special note of interest. This is the Michigan Football Network.
this second half of play as Jim Harbaugh will come out to direct the team from that quarterback slot. Eric Catta set up his one tight end. Nelson's over on the other side as the ball is given off to Morris out of the tailback spot and he runs it up off the right side of about the 11 yard line. As the towering junior out of Birmingham, Brother Rice will set up off to the left side with two tight ends still in the line of scrimmage. Here comes the blitz and knocked off stride as Perriman as he carried the ball up to the 15 yard line as Russ Belford on a safety blitz came careening in there to put a shoulder on him. The ball fakes to Morris, back to pass he goes. Stays in the pocket. Now he scrambles out. He can't find any free, and he's sacked way back at the eight-yard line by Rick Graff. Into the wind. Robbins gets a good snap. He sends it end over end up to the 40, where it hits in Michigan territory, rolls to the 45, and it'll make it into Wisconsin territory, but not by much. At about the 48-yard line, and that's where the Badgers will have it here on their first offensive series of the second half. Off to Emory on a sweep around the right side. Finds some run room. He's into the secondary to the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He has spun around and he falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Badgers. And there are no yellow handkerchiefs on the field. So Wisconsin gets on the board quickly in the second half. It took him exactly one play. 52 yards scramble by Larry Emery who shot around the right side. That was the short side of the field. He kept bouncing off Michigan tacklers. Emery's second touchdown of the year, and that also puts him over the 100-yard mark. The ball is spotted. Gregory sends it up. It's through. Timeout on the field. 12.35 to go in the third quarter. The score, Michigan 10, Wisconsin 7. Well, talk about lightning striking in a hurry. Zone to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and he is hauled down on a jersey tackle by number 21, Rob Johnson. On first down, Harbaugh gives it off to his second man through, and that's about a two-yard pickup. On second and eight, they're going to send both Bean and Giovanni Johnson off to the left side. And Harbaugh, after a fake to Morris, is back to throw, fires it up the middle to Jamie, and he is crunched between a couple of Badger tacklers at the 26-yard line. There was a quick whistle there. Crowd didn't appreciate that. Michael Reed and Rick Graff had him pretty well tied up. Slotman off to the left side this time as Michigan employs only... Perriman has the deep back, and he gets it on the draw and comes up the middle, and he is at the 30-yard line, very close to a first down. If they allow his advance over, and it looks as though they will, that'll be a first down for the Wolverines behind Jim Harbaugh. 8 of 15 on the afternoon. As on first down, he stuffs it off to Jamie. Up the middle he comes, and he is up over the 40-yard line, running for about 10 yards that time before Avery Walker and Nathaniel Odoms combined to bring him down. It's second like down. Let's see if Michigan will waste one here and throw. Nope, they're going to give it off to Garrett up the middle, and he has a first down as he pushes his way up to the 44-yard line. Garrett and Morris stay home behind Harbaugh in the eye. Two tight ends on that line of scrimmage. They pitch it back to Morris. Jamie tries it short side right, finds a hole at the 45, goes to 50. He's in the Badger territory and knocked out of bounds down at the 45-yard line. Again, same play, right side, turns the corner, and he I turns the corner, and he is bumped out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Well, he's getting a workout here this afternoon. That was his 17th carry of the day. Nelson in motion, left side. Harbaugh on the rollout, goes down on the option, pitches it back to Morris. He is hemmed in right about the line of scrimmage and pushed back. Morris employed as the spot man off to the right side. Harbaugh will drift straight back to throw, fires it quickly out here to Jamie at the 35. He is knocked down in the neighborhood of the 30, and that'll be another Michigan first down. Put a shoulder in at Jamie and sent him flying. To go third quarter, Michigan up 10 to 7. Wilshire gets the call, finds a hole up the middle. He's down to the 25-yard line. Wilshire remains in there as the eye back. Lined up behind Garrett as the ball is given up to Eddie Garrett, and he runs a slant down to the left side, and he's down in the neighborhood of the 27-yard line. Tackle made by Belford. The ball given to Garrett up the middle, and he... I don't believe he made the first down. He ran straight into the middle of that Wisconsin defense, was pushed back at the 21-yard line, fourth, and less than a yard. That's going to bring this crowd to its feet right now. And there was no hesitation on the sidelines. There was no thought of a field goal. This time they pitch it back to Morris. Jamie around the right side. He has a first down as he is inside the 20-yard line. No doubt about it. 
Jimmy Harbaugh on first down gives it off to Morse, finds a hole up the middle, and Jamie is down inside the 14-yard line. 14 of the Badgers. I formation behind Harbaugh. He will go to Morris again, who goes around the right side of the 15 to the 10. State is on his feet to the 5, and he is knocked down at the 3. First and goal for the Wolverines. Daniel Odoms to finally haul down the little water bug Morris. He's going to come out for another rest. Wilshire comes back in there at the tailback spot, and Morris now is 103 yards on the day and 21 carries. Backfield now as the ball is given to the up man Perriman, and Buzzards Bay is down to the goal line. He's over. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, second effort by Perriman. They stacked him up about a foot short. He gave it one more push and fell off the side of the pile and drove his way just across the goal line. And even as you hesitated down the ending way, so did the head linesman because he wasn't all that certain either. But when he looked, he saw the ball was laying inside the end zone. As Todd Slopey, the holder, he puts it down. Bergeron puts it up. It's through. We have a timeout on the field. 5-17 remaining third quarter. The score, Michigan 17, Wisconsin 7. It's on the football, and here it comes. A kick that will be fielded by Jones up at the seven yard line comes to the 10 straight up the field to the 15 to the 20 to the 25 trying to get outside but he is hit on a tremendous tackle. I think that was Doug Mallory. Yes it was. Radio stations of the University of Michigan either WUOM in Ann Arbor at 91.7. Get the series underway at their 27 yard line they have two wide receivers off to the left side but they give it off on the draw to Emory and he comes up close to the 30 yard line their setbacks a fake by Howard stands back fires it up the middle to Harrison he catches it at the 34 he's hit immediately by a couple of Wolverines led by Garland Rivers and pushed back scrambling out of the pocket retreats now runs over to his left side he's going to run with the football goes to the 30 to the 35 up to the 39 yard line that will be a badger first down the tackle made by Brad Cochran first actual carry has been cut down a couple times drifting right side throws it it is caught by Pearson the tight end at the 45 bounces off a couple of Michigan tacklers and he's up to first down territory at midfield Howard will give it off to his deep man and only a couple of yards on that one taking a long time at that line of scrimmage he fakes to the up man keeps it himself pitches it out on the option arm and Trouty has a first down on the far sideline as he has banged out of bounds by Rivers in the neighborhood of the 36 yard line. Al Toon is off to the left side on first down. They'll give it off to the tailback Armand Trout up the middle. He comes to the 32 yard line. Nate Rogers on the stop. The Badgers. Michael Jones comes to the left side. Al Toon splits right. And Howard fakes to his up man on the option again, pitches it back to Emery, and he slides forward close to the first down marker at the 26 yard line. We'll wait and see where they spot it. Garland Rivers on the stop. Well, they have dropped the chains back over to the far side now, and it will be third down and in inches for the Badgers at the 26 of Michigan. Bonner and Emery are the Ibikes. Howard's going to keep it himself, run straight ahead. He has a first down as he is at the 25-yard line. Well, giving him a first down inside the Michigan 25-yard line as we're down to the final seconds of the third quarter, and this time very little gain. And doesn't look like we'll get another play away here in this third quarter as we are now inside 10 seconds with the Badgers huddling it up. And we are not as time has expired here in this third quarter with Michigan holding on to a 17 to 7 margin. We'll be back with the final 15 minutes in just a moment. But first fires it up the middle. It is incomplete intercept almost intercepted there at the 15 yard line. And Howard drifting back to throw rolling off to the left side fires it and it is broken up. 
Brad Cochran got a hand on it. Both Pearson and McFadden were in the territory at the 15-yard line, but neither had a chance to come up with a football. The near side hash mark. Ball is placed down, and his kick is up, and it is short. So the Michigan defense holds, and they will take over here with 14.45 remaining in this fourth quarter. And the Wolverines leading it by 10, 17 to 7. Now for the Wolverines. And he gets the handoff. It's Eddie Garrett, and he is muscled right at the 25-yard line. And Harbaugh back looking for a receiver. He is being chased. He is scrambling back to the 10. Still going back to the 5. He throws a wild desperation toss out of bounds. That time they won't get him because <laughs> there were receivers up there. Harbaugh had two Badgers hanging on his clavicle. Well, and it almost took him too long. He took too much risk, Tom. Went back too far. Held onto the ball too long. I think that he wanted to go to Jamie Morris, and Jamie was held up pretty well at the line of scrimmage, I think uh, within legal limits, bumped by a couple of linebackers who did not let him escape freely from the line of scrimmage. And Harbaugh will give it off on the delay to Jamie Morris. He cannot get past the line of scrimmage as he was knocked down at 25 by Tim Jordan. And he's filling in today for Mark Hammerstein. His fourth and long. Here is Monty Robbins in on a big rush. It's blocked. The ball is... Bounced around, and the Badgers finally recover it at the 14-yard line. The Badgers have now blocked five kicks this season, and they have come up with a big one here at the 14 of the Wolverines. We'll see if we can get who got their hands on that football. He was upset. He snuck in an extra half a step, and that's what got that ball blocked. All down at the 11-yard line, the line of scrimmage. Block three punts against Missouri last week. It's second down and six, and here is the handoff to Emory to the short side left to the 10 down to the five, and he is hit at the four, and that'll be very close to the first down marker. Quarter, but the Badgers are threatening. Third and less than a yard at the Michigan five. Howard with two tight ends on that line of scrimmage, keeps it himself, slides off the right side for a first down as he is across three. Then will line up in the eye behind Howard. Who gets the snap, pitches it out to Emory on a sweeper on the left side. He's into the end zone. Touchdown! Over there, but too late, as Emory has scored his second touchdown in the afternoon, and the Badgers very much right back in this ball game. Fourth quarter. Bob Cobza, their third-line quarterback, is in there as the holder. He puts it down. Gregory puts it up. It's through. We've got a timeout on the field. 11.22 remaining in this fourth quarter to score. Michigan, 17, Wisconsin, 14. Really carries a lot of tacklers. It's second down and about two for the Wolverines. With two tight ends, they will give it to Jamie again around the right side, and he has a first down as he broke free momentarily and then was pushed out of bounds up at the 41-yard line of Michigan by Russ Belford. 1,239 on hand here in Ann Arbor today. On a very warm football afternoon, the ball is given off to Perriman, and he just literally bangs his way up to the 47-yard line, tackle made by Reed and Walker. Morris in at the tailback, second and four after that six-yard gallop by Garrett. The ball is given to Morris, hole off the right side of the 50, and oh, he is staggered at the 45-yard line of the Badgers' Avery Walker. Held on to the football. That's amazing, and then he just gets up like it's very routine. I like him. <laughs> you and about 104,000 others was shaken up earlier, got up a little slow off that. Here goes Art Belordis over the ball at center at the 45 of Wisconsin. First and 10 for Michigan. Nine and a half remaining. As the ball this time is given to the up man, Garrett, not much happening there as he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Harbaugh looking down the line of scrimmage. He waits for the snap. He's got it. Here comes the safety blitz. Harbaugh back to pass. He steps up in the pocket. He's going to run with it now. He's going to be hit at the 47-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. The learning process goes on for the young quarterback, right? Yeah, 10 years later, it's easier to see. I'll tell you. <laughs> Again, he is chased out of the pocket. Fires it upfield. It's caught by Bean for a first down at the 33-yard line of Wisconsin. Richard Johnson was on him right there, but Vince Bean had gone... Far enough for that first down, and Harbaugh did a nifty job of getting the ball to him after he was chased off to the right side. His eyes upfield and finding a receiver somewhere. 
So the drive is still alive. First and ten for the Wolverines. And Harbaugh on a broken play is down at the 34-yard line. Well, once again, we had the safety blitz. I think he lost the football on that play, Tom. But uh, they had the safety blitz, and he's got to recognize it because Wisconsin is not doing a very good job of, of disguising it. Uh, they're really coming with the safety often, and they don't sh they don't uh, hesitate to let you know about it in plenty of time. I think he's going to have to check off no matter what the formation and get the ball deep in the center of the field. So there was a loss of one on that one, second and 11. Harbaugh, back to pass he goes, fires it off to the near sideline, incomplete, intended for Vince Bean. He made a dive for the football down at the 20, couldn't quite come up with it. The Michigan Football Network. Here comes Bean in motion, back to the line of scrimmage, as back to pass goes Harbaugh. He wings the long one up here for Bean, and it is incomplete, thrown a little bit over his head down at the six. Can't run as fast with your head turned backwards. And I think once he picked up the ball, he should have been going straight ahead. Here's a 50-yard field goal attempt by Bob Bergeron. He lines it up and through. A typical Bob Bergeron screaming line drive that probably didn't get much higher off the ground than the crossbar, but that was enough. So we've got a timeout of the field with 6.51 remaining in this ball game. A score, Michigan 20, Wisconsin 14. Now, he delivers a high, booming end over end kick well into the end zone. There will be no run back here, cut by McFadden, and we'll have it first and 10 for the Badgers. Badgers line up in the eye now as Harrison and Emery behind Howard. And he will give it off to Emory. Big hole right side, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And he is set spinning up at about the 42-yard line. Again, in there at the fullback position now for the Badgers. Here's a fake handoff by Howard. And a pass is incomplete. Al Toon had that one down at the 45 of Michigan. Let it get away from him. It's second and 10. He split right. McFadden left. Handoff Emory left side this time. And he has a gain up to the 46-yard line. Third down and six. As Howard drifts back to throw, a big rug, fires a little screen over on the left side, complete to the 45 to Harrison, up to the 50, and that's going to be short of a first down. Preparation for this kick by Scott Sapicki. Good snap. Gets it away. Spiral that will come down to Johnson, a fair catch at the 17-yard line of the Wolverines. So they will take over with 5.04 remaining in the game. They lead it 20-14. to 14. Well, the thing they would like to generate is first down. <laughs> Both Jokic and Bean off to the left side, but they don't look for him to put him up, and they don't as they give it off to Morris, and he runs a little slant to the right side up to the 20-yard line. Over at the 48. To aid him in another. Here comes safety blitzes. Harbaugh gives it to Morris. He bounces off one man, and then he is nailed by another right at the 20-yard line. Harbaugh will go back to throw on third down. He fires it far sideline, incomplete over the head of the intended receiver, Sim Nelson, up at the 28-yard line, and Michigan will be forced to give up the football. Monty standing back close to his five-yard line. McFadden's at the Wisconsin 40. Big rush, and Robbins does get it away. It's a short punt. Hits at the 45. Gets a good roll, though, to the 35, and goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line of Wisconsin. So Mike Howard, 11 out of 21 through the air. On first down, takes the snap, hands it on the draw, draw to Harrison. 30, 35, 40, 45. Loses the football at midfield, and Michigan, I believe, is on it. Looks like Doug Mallory has it. The fifth fumble of the day for Wisconsin. The fifth recovery for Michigan. that caused the fumble. Here's the pitch out to Morris around the left side of the 50 down to the 45-yard line. They stay in bounds, so the clock will continue to run here with just over three minutes to go. Five turnovers for the Badgers this afternoon. There must be something in that turf or the air here at Michigan Stadium. 
Down and four after that six-yard pickup by Morris. Two and a half to go. Hand off this time goes to Paraman, and he just churns his way off the left side for a couple to the 42-yard line. Third down and about two for Michigan. As the handoff goes to the up man, Paraman, he is hauled down short of a first down. He didn't get to the 40 by Michael Reed. Robbins waiting for the snap, gets a good one. No rush this time by the Badgers. Robbins lifts it high, and it is going to hit into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20. Or what will be the last gasp for the Badgers. With a minute 33 showing on that clock. And now has come up with seven opposition fumbles on the 1984 season. Generate something here in the last minute and a half. They'll take over at their 20 as Mike Howard looks down the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, heads back to throw. Michigan rushing only three men. The pass is incomplete as he threw it off to the left side for the tight end Dave Arneson slipped right through his hands. As they figure that Howard is going to fill the air with footballs here in the waiting moments of this ball game. He is 10 of 18 now with a minute 28 to go on second and 10. Howard retreats, swings it off to the left side, caught by Bonner at the 15 to the 20, and he is knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. That'll stop the clock, but not much game there. Fevers for the Badgers, who split their setbacks. Howard back to throw. Up the middle it comes, incomplete. Intended for Bonner at the 25-yard line. He couldn't hold on to it. As Howard... Fakes the handoff, back to throw he goes, fires it near sideline, it is caught, and out of bounds at the 30-yard line is Toon, boy, right at the 30-yard line. Hard to tell on the replay monitor either. Toon caught it, went out of bounds immediately. But we can sit, speculate about it all day. That isn't going to make a whole lot of difference. They're going to mark it at the 30, and that's going to be a first down for the Badgers with a minute and 12 to go. And he did get out of bounds to stop the clock. They yeah, the Badgers send two receivers to the left side, and Howard looks to throw. Lofts one off to the left, and it is caught by Toon at the 45. And his knee went down, said the official, before he got up to make the move to the outside. So the Badgers quickly hustle up to the line of scrimmage here. It looks like they're not going to employ a timeout now. Back to pass goes Howard on the draw, gives it off to Bonner up the 50, and a flag goes down as he goes down at the 45-yard line. Badgers coming up to the line of scrimmage now. They'll split McFadden off to the right side. Mike Howard gets the snap. Drops straight back to throw. Stays in the pocket. Now chased out. He goes to the 35. Trying to get out of bounds, and he does so at the 34-yard line. Not much of an advance, but on the other hand, he did stop the clock, so they will not have to employ one of their final two timeouts chased out by Rodney Lyles. But the jury's still out on this one. Jones right, two and left. Second and ten. Howard will go back to throw. Scrambling to the right side. Fires it to Harrison, and he slips and falls at the 35-yard line. So it'll be third down and ten, and the Badgers will have to utilize a timeout here now. They do. So we have a timeout on the field. 27 seconds to go to score. Michigan, 20. Wisconsin, 14. They're going to send McFadden and Toon to the right, the left side. Jones comes right. Setbacks well split. Howard back to throw. Gets a chase. Now he is going to be dropped for a loss back at the 40-yard line. And Wisconsin, I think, will get up to the huddle of the line without a huddle. They want a timeout, and they're not getting yep. a call. Now they got it. And they lost all, at least one football play in there. They really did. We have a timeout with 14 seconds remaining in the ball game. The score, Michigan 20, Wisconsin 14. This crowd of 104,000 all standing right now. As Howard gets the snap, back to pass he goes. Gets sacked, he throws a wild ball. It is intercepted by Cochran at the 28-yard line, and that'll be it. It looked like Jim Scarcelli, I think, Tom, was the defender who broke through there to have Howard in his grasp when he decided just to throw that one up for grabs. He had no choice. Well, it was a great effort by Michael Howard, Tom, because 
there was nothing left to do but throw it even if you just throw it up in the air even if you fumble it forward no matter what you don't go down with the football he made a great effort you can ask to do is put it in play for one play and Harbaugh does that he kneels as it's touched down and the clock will tick off and there's the final gun and Michigan has opened the 1984 Big Ten season in successful fashion as Dave McLean comes out to shake the hand of Bo Schembechler as Michigan wins it 20 to 14 and we'll be back right after we pause one minute. 